Hi, this is Owen Abbas sitting from behind the gloves and I'm here with Anthony Crawler. Anthony, we've just finished your press conference for your fight with Dolly's Perez. Um, coming back to the first fight, you've been here, but with that fight, there was the incident that occurred with yourself in regards to the robbery and your injury. Now it feels like it's a bit more business-like, it's a bit more yeah, back to the boxing. Definitely. Is that the, defi is that the yeah, feeling? Yeah, definitely the feeling and I'm very happy for all that as well. I mean, last time with all the incident and all the support I got from the city and it was more added support you know, from people. I really appreciate it, but I'm, I'm glad that now it's about the boxing. It's, uh, it's nice to be talking about the boxing more. I've I, I seen you saying that mentally, when you look, it took you ages to look back at the fight, firstly, you were gutted. Mentally looking back at it, you know, how did you feel looking back at it and knowing that you probably had won it, but the points points decision didn't go your yeah, way? Yeah, it was, listen, it was gutting. I, I watched it, obviously, they asked when I didn't watch it then for months because I was, I knew I was going to watch it enough over the, the, you know, the weeks before the fight, but I'm very, um, I'm very grateful, you know, like to have this second opportunity. Um, and looking back at that, you can't dwell on the past forever. I'm not going to become world champion by crying about the first fight. I knew that to become world champion, I had to get back in the gym, working hard, and I had a lot to be thankful for that night as well. There was a lot of, you know, that, that reception I got from that atmosphere. There's um, people dream about fighting in front of a crowd like that, and I do as well, and I got to experience that dream. I really think you need to maybe be a bit different from the first fight, because the first fight, I was in that arena as well. I thought you thought you just nicked it. Yeah. How, where do you think you need to maybe differentiate this time round? Yeah, I think um, obviously I don't want to give too much away. Um, if Dallas gets in trouble, I mean, it come out a good time for him. It come out a good time for him in the round. But if it hurts him this time, I plan to lock on. If um, there's still things to do, like I say, I, I don't want to give too much away. But there's um, the jab worked well last time. That'll be an important factor again this time. Just going on. Um, We've seen that the documentary was done for the first fight and that's got an yeah. award. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, um, I, honestly, I just knew it was, I was honoured that it was up because the team, they're a great team who, who put it all together. And when it got put up, I was like, for awards, I was like, wow, it's, um, it's great to be involved in it. But I mean, listen, I'd, I'm, just, um, I'm just the idiot who the film, right? it's the <laughs> team behind it who put it all together. But... Um, and then to win it, to win it, I was I was made up, you know, for the team. They was uh, like I say, they deserve everything, and they're a great team, good people, and they put a lot of hard work behind it. I was glad for them to get, I was happy for them to get some recognition. I just want to quickly talk about your your yeah. teammate uh, Scott Quigg, who's going to be fighting yeah. Cole Frampton on the 27th yeah. of February. Training with him, seeing him outside what we see him, Scott as. Well, how do you predict that fight? And, you know, is he is he that person that is in the gym 24/7? Because yeah. that's that's what we've heard about him. There's no one out there more dedicated than him. I promise you. He's um, he he could do a 12 rounder Saturday night. He could do a 12 rounder Saturday night. I assure you. He's um, he absolutely lives it, and I can't wait for it. And it's great that I'm mean, listen. I like Carl Frampton as well. I think he's a great fighter, and it's I'm just glad that both fighters are fighting now, and that they you think they're both gonna get sort of a great payday for this and almost settle for life and make things easier for their families. They both deserve it, both great fighters. And obviously, I do see the fight going. Some people are saying I'm biased, but um, I genuinely believe Scott's going to win. He's going to win by knockout. Perfect. Well, Anthony, thank you very much for talking to Behind the Gloves. I appreciate thank that. Thank you. Great speaking to you. If you haven't already done so, make sure you download the Behind the Gloves app. It's free and it features really cool stuff like a fight calendar that reminds you of all the upcoming fights. And it allows for you to, with one click, to remind yourself directly to your phone. And it also features 24-7 breaking news that's going on in boxing. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that and subscribe to this channel.